For today's video, I'm going to help you understand yourself. Understand what you truly want from the world. And when we're done and you figured it out, we're going to talk about how you can go about and get it. Maybe you have the goal of starting your own business. Or maybe you want to climb up the corporate ladder. Or maybe for you, success has a completely different meaning. Whatever it may be, I really hope that your goals challenge you. Because if they don't, you probably don't need to be watching this video. I recently lost a person who was very important to me. This person was my rock and almost my second brain. I went through the stage of grief like most people would. I was first in denial and then I started bargaining. I started sleeping late and getting up later and I went out every single opportunity that I could. Effectively, I'd let go of my purpose and I entered into survival mode. And I rationalized all of this saying, you know what Rahul, this is a tough time. You're going to the gym regularly. So if you want to cut loose, go ahead. Nothing bad's gonna happen. But what can I say? I was wrong here. Letting go of all self-control when you're going through a difficult period is actually not the way to deal with things. It makes it so much harder for you to come out stronger on the other side. So you may ask me, what's the secret Rahul? How do I become the person that I want to be? Even if it's so difficult, even though I'm not motivated all the time. And the answer is so simple. It's delayed gratification. So what is delayed gratification? Put it short and sweet, delayed gratification is nothing but the act of putting aside short-term pleasure now so that you can reap greater rewards sometime in the future. A very simple example of someone practicing delayed gratification could be when you choose not to go out when everyone else is having a great time so that you can work on a project that you want to be successful. The short-term pleasure of having a good time is replaced with the joy of getting immersed in the process and the eventual euphoria that you will get when you have success. That in short is what delayed gratification is. Sacrifice is made today so that tomorrow is significantly better. So next up you may ask me like, why should I practice this? How will practicing delayed gratification in my life help me? And to that I'd say, you know the list just starts and it will never end. But to keep the video short and to the point, I will be talking about four main reasons. Let's get started. Number one, learning how to delay instant gratification is actually the biggest step in your journey to becoming a success. I cannot become the fastest man in the world today. No matter how badly I may want to, it is just not possible. I cannot run faster than whoever holds the world record today. If you are striving to create something beautiful and your purpose in life is actually to be among the best in the world, you will need to train to be ready. For me, it's like working out in the gym. I was never able to just walk into the gym and bench press 100 kilos. I still cannot do that. But with time and continuous effort, I have seen so much progress. Learning how to delay gratification is like going for a workout, except it's like a workout for your brain. When you say no to a distraction and instead go and work on your purpose, it's a cheat code. Every time you choose to push short-term pleasure down the road, you've already won the battle. Even if you don't have the most productive brain workout, what you're actually doing is you're creating proof. Proof that you are the man or woman who'll do anything to achieve their dreams. 90% of the battle is already won if you have that proof in your hands. Reason number two, learning how to delay gratification is actually the secret to being happy in life. Okay, hear me out now, this might be a little tough to understand. But when you decide to make choices that sacrifice today's pleasures for something in the future and you derive a sense of purpose from the job that you're working on, your drive and motivation gets tied to your process. I don't want to get too technical here, but let's just say on average that your average level of motivation or drive is a 6 on 10. This is a 6 based on your current lifestyle where you succumb to every craving or go for every invite that you're invited to. When you do decide to indulge in short-term pleasures, they're all fun and your mind will get tremendous pleasure from these activities. Maybe you'll even reach a 9 or a 10 in terms of motivation, drive and happiness. Let's just stop here and ask yourself this question. What happens the next day though? Most of the time, over the course of the next few days, the party ends and life continues. In terms of pleasure, suddenly there's a crash in the levels of motivation. And this crash can sometimes be so extreme that you might even reach a level of 1 or 2. And it takes some time for your body to recover. So how do we avoid these short spikes and long-lasting depressions? By practicing delayed gratification. Not necessarily all of the time, but more often than not. Remember that you need to have a life as well, so you don't need to do it all the time. But practicing delayed gratification more often than not is the secret to having a fulfilling life. So the next question is why though? When you derive a sense of pleasure from the work that you do, and you actually get that pleasure from making progress instead of the end result. The journey that you're on becomes an amazing one. In fact, you'll even be able to appreciate the simple things in life and comparisons will barely even bother you. So the third reason to practice delayed gratification is because of the idea that future you will live a better life. I think this is the time where we all start taking accountability. We are where we are currently in life because of the choices we've taken and the thoughts that we've manifested in our heads up to this point. 
most of the good and the bad things that you have going for you right now can be traced back to a series of decisions that you made in your past. Who wouldn't want to change a thing or two if they could go back in time? I know I would. But that's the thing, right? The past is in the past. You have the chance now to write your future. And why not do that instead? If you can make it a habit to practice delayed gratification today, there are a few things that you can expect to happen. You will be more bored, but you will also require less stimulation to be happy. And most importantly, you are building a life that your future self will be proud of. Sometimes even I find it difficult to make sacrifices. But when I do, I tend to look at these sacrifices not as sacrifices, but as investments. Investment in the stock market of my life. The regular stock market can double or triple your money in five years. But what about life stock market? Isn't the ROI going to be much, much higher? Simple example could be studying for an exam. Oh my God, studying for an exam requires so much work. But if you stop looking at the studying as a sacrifice and instead you look at it as an investment, an investment in your future self, then you'll realize that by virtue of studying for this exam, the return that you're going to get in 10 years will be 15 or 20 times the effort that you put in. There is not a single marketplace anywhere in the world which can give you such high returns in such a short time frame. That's what delayed gratification can give you. And if you're not convinced, stay with me, okay, stick around. I haven't yet talked about the marshmallow test. So it was only recently that I came across this experiment, the marshmallow test that was conducted in the 60s. So what was this test? A team of professors from Stanford conducted a massive experiment to understand the psychology of children. This experiment, now known as the marshmallow test, has revealed what is believed to be the most important characteristic for success in health, work and life. The experiment began by bringing each child into a room, sitting them down in a chair and placing a marshmallow on the table in front of them. At this point, researchers would offer a deal to the child. The researcher told the child that he was going to leave the room and if the child did not eat the marshmallow while the researcher was away, when he came back, he would be rewarded with a second marshmallow and the researcher would leave the room for 15 minutes. So the choice is very simple, eat one treat now or enjoy two treats later when the researcher left the room. And as you can imagine, the footage of these children trying to resist their temptations is actually hilarious. Some kids jumped up and ate the first marshmallow. Others wiggled and bounced and scooted in their chairs as they tried to restrain themselves. But eventually they gave in to temptation a few minutes later. And finally, a few children did manage to wait the entire time. As the years rolled on and the children grew up, the researchers conducted follow-up experiments on the children to study where they were going in life and track each child's progress in a number of areas. What they found was surprising. The children who were willing to delay gratification and waited to receive the second marshmallow ended up having higher SAT scores, lower levels of substance abuse and generally better scores in a range of life measures. The researchers followed each child for over 40 years and consistently every single time, the group that was able to delay gratification tended to overperform or outperform any group that didn't. To me, something like this is kind of obvious. The ability to delay gratification is critical for success in any area of life. If you made it this far into the video, then I'm confident that you've got what it takes to delay gratification. A platform like YouTube is designed so beautifully that it's so distracting and it's very easy for people to get distracted, scroll through the comments and look for other cheap sources of dopamine. The fact of the matter is, unless you were interested in improving yourself, you wouldn't have made it this far into the video. And I want you to understand that this bodes very well for you. You're on the right track, boys and girls. It's almost like you are the children of the marshmallow test. You were able to say no to something in the short term so that you could reap the long-term benefits of delayed gratification. If you did enjoy this video or found it useful, please like and leave a comment down below. It's cool if you do and it's perfectly fine if you don't. And as for me, I'm done indulging in what my monkey brain tells me to do. Life is beautiful and sometimes it's so amazing that we begin to take it for granted. When something like that begins to happen, the odd reality check here and there is nothing but a good thing. Thanks for watching dear friends, have an amazing day and until we meet again, this is Filter Coffee Finance signing off.